Hi, I'm Nick. I'm Gavin. And together we're the Surrey Hill Smokers. Today we're going to be doing some World Street Food Kebabs. Today we're going to be using these cocoa shell briquettes from Big K. And we're also going to be using the woodies to get them going. Okay, now we're going to have a look at the different types of satay. Today we're going to do chicken and we're also going to do beef. In here, we've got a different combination of spices. We've got turmeric, fennel seed, coriander, which I've toasted a little bit and then blitzed. And we've also got some brown sugar, some salt, and what we're going to do is we're going to put the full recipe in the actual notes below. Okay, firstly, we're going to start off with the beef. What we do, add it into a nice big bowl. Then we take half of this rub, or, you know, a decent amount to start off with. Just so we can see it's going to be enough to coat the actual beef. Bring that all together. Maybe a little more. Just want to make sure it's got all that flavour coming together in there. Okay. What we can do then, start getting on the skewers. Do the old twist motion. Put it down. Then we continue to do this for the rest of them. Okay, now that we've done the beef, let's move on to doing exactly the same again, but we're just with the chicken. Again, generous amount of the actual spice. Doesn't matter if there's still some left in the bowl. Just make sure you've got plenty of it on that chicken. You want to have plenty of flavour. Okay, that's good. And again, back on with the skewers. Okay, now that they're actually all skewered up, what I'm going to do is just put a last little bit of extra rub on there as well. All it's going to do is just give it added flavour. Why not? And then we're just going to put this back in a fridge for about an hour to two hours to let that soak back in there. Okay, so now we're going to move on to these Greek kebabs. This is a recipe in the next come up with. It's got on here, it's got mint, honey, olive oil, and garlic. Basically, you put it all through a little hand blender, process it all together, and then rub it onto that lamb and leave it to soak in. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to actually now alternate this with the onions and peppers on these incredibly sharp skewers. Okay. What we're also going to do with this is we're going to do some Turkish style flatbreads. I've made the dough already here. What we could do is we're going to put that recipe in the bottom description as well for you. What we do is make nice little balls, bring it around, try and bring it into the middle. That way, when we roll it out flat, the flour on here. Well, make sure it doesn't stick. Try and get them as physically as flat as possible. Maybe a little bit more flour on there. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this into an intensely hot cast iron pan that at the moment is sitting over the grill. These things will bubble up nicely. So we've just oiled up that pan with a few spritzes of oil. We'll just throw the flatbed in. Just be careful, that skillet is red hot. It won't take more than a couple of minutes each side. You'll know that because it'll start bubbling up and then you flip it over and then you're done. So as we can see the, uh, the flatbread here is starting to bubble up again. That's a really good sign and that's a sign we need to turn that over. So we just pick it up, flip it over and let it do the other side. So Gavin's made those amazing kebabs for us. What we're going to do is start cooking them. We'll start with the chicken ones obviously because we want to make sure they're properly cooked. So we're going to cook them direct to start off with. That means they're over the coals. 
we want to get that sear on there, we want to get a little bit of char on there, we want to just get that great sort of smoky flavour in there as well. You can hear them sizzling away. They won't take long to cook, so a couple of minutes each side, we'll check them. We'll be able to tell if they're, uh, if they're cooked or not, but as I say, it's cut quite finely, that chicken, so it should cook really quickly. So they've been on a couple of minutes, it's now time to turn them in. Can be using tongs or use your fingers. I'm going to use my fingers for this time. Just get them turned over so they don't stick. You might also notice we've, uh, we've thrown some corn in there as well. You can't have a proper barbecue without some corn on the cob. So it's time to move the uh, chicken satay skewers over to the indirect side. So we'll just flick these over here. So it's time to get some of these beef skewers on. We've got quite a few here. Again, we'll cook them directly over the coals because we want that flavour. We want that char. I think Gavin might have made a few too many of here, but hey, I'm never going to turn down free food. And we'll shut that down, give it a couple of minutes. So we've had a couple of minutes on there, it's time to turn those beef skewers over. They look awesome. And because it's cut nice and thin, it's cooking really quickly, which is what you want. You don't want it to take hours. And again, I'm doing this barehanded. It is kind of hot, but just be careful. So it's time to move that beef off the direct heat and into the indirect area, and then we'll get the lamb skewers on. We don't want to burn or char this too much, we just want it cooked, so it's gonna get that really nice flavor. We don't want those spices burning in. So now that we've got the beef and the chicken all pretty much mainly cooked, and they're just gonna be final finishing touches, we're gonna get the lamb skewers on. And again, we're gonna cook these direct over. We want these to have that charred flavor. We want the peppers and the onions to be cooked and sweet and soft. You can hear that sizzling away. We'll shut that down and give them a couple more minutes. So it's time to give those lamb kebabs a turn. Again, be super careful. This is red hot. And these are metal skewers, so they're even hotter than the bamboo. The reason we've used bamboo on the chicken and beef is it's more traditional for that and the way the square holds the meats together. The lamb is obviously nicely cubed, so it goes quite well on these traditional sort of Greek skewers. Anyway, we'll shut that down, give it a couple more minutes. We're not far from eat time. So that's taking you through the chicken and beef satay style kebabs and also my Greek style lamb kebabs. It's been a really enjoyable afternoon. These are super quick and easy to prepare. They're super quick and easy to cook as well. Our families have enjoyed it, I think, Gav. Oh, yeah. I've certainly enjoyed it. I hope you guys have, and I hope we've inspired you to maybe have a, a go at these yourself. As I say, it's not difficult. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, and have a go. If you've got any comments, please do leave them down below, and we'll get back to you. But until next time, thanks for watching. Thanks.